Market Street in Altrincham was the start for the eighth and final stage of the Oval Energy Tour of Britain. 166 kilometres finishing in Manchester city centre. But passing through Greater Manchester and covering all 10 boroughs through kilometre zero. And it was Matt Holmes of Madison Genesis who went on the attack. He would be joined at the front by Team Wiggins, LeCole, Ryder, Gabs, Kaleg. Going into the stage, Matt Holmes was 1 minute and 30 down on the general classification. They were joined by Rudolf Readiness, Emil Van Jabo. They pressed on with their advantage through the first Iceberg Intermediate Sprint of the day at Hazel Grove. And it was Holmes that took maximum points, and it was anything by ordinary this day. They moved on to Werneth Lowe. The first Skoda King in the Mountains point of the day, a 1.2 kilometer climb, 7.8% average gradient, 14% maximum gradient, unprecedented crowds throughout the stage today. Cresting the summit, it was Vinjevo that took maximum points ahead of Holmes and Kaleg. Through Upper Mill for the second intermediate sprint of the day, Holmes was closing the gap, but only by six seconds to Van der Poel. Jacob Scott was looking secure in his Skoda King of the Mountains jersey. They went on to Grains Bar, the second climb of the day. The summit coming over the 101.4 kilometers. It was Kaleg that led over the summit from Holmes and Vinjabo. It was Team Ineos, though, between the two climbs as they headed towards Ram's bottom rake that came to the front and disintegrated the peloton. They swept up the trio at the head of the race. One of the pre-stage favourites, Dylan Groenewegen, though, was put out of contention as most of the contenders and favourites for this year's Tour of Britain made it in to a select leading group. Dylan Groenewegen was losing time. Everyone was on track as they headed towards Ram's bottom rake. Pavel Sivakov went on the attack. He had gone into the stage in fourth overall at 42 seconds, but he was still over 70 kilometers from the finish. The summit of Ram's bottom rake coming with 71.8 to go. Team Ineos were looking to try and get something out of the race. Sivakov was pulled back. It was Mikhail Lander that went on the attack next. But this was the pattern of racing to come all the way to the finish. After Lander, Simon Clark was the next rider to try his hand. And it was Andre Amador that was the rider that would eventually try and get clear. He went into the stage eighth overall. At 57 seconds, Matteo Trentin was 12 seconds down in the general classification in second to Van der Poel. Amador, though, was building an advantage of 45 seconds. One of the spectators was milking his party piece. Amador would then be chased hard by Simon Clark. The Movi star rider again very far out from the finish to hang on. He went through the final intermediate sprint in Horwich, but Mitchelton Scott were trying to set things up for Matteo Trentin. Vanderpool's teammate Dries de Bont, one of the riders of the race, came through to sweep up the all important two bonus seconds. Trentin had taken one. Then it was the turn of Vanderpool to burst Trentin, Sivikov, and Camp to try and go clear. This was a dangerous group. But again, as they've joined Amador at the front, Niels Pollitt of Katusha Alpacine would pull it back together. The next group to go clear was Mikhail Golash, Mark Christian, and Larry Warbass. Again, this group looked like they could go all the way to the finish. They were pulled back. The flurry of attacks, Connor Swift, Matteo Trentin, but he was being marked all the time by Mathieu van der Poel in the green leader's jersey. Swift was looking to try and get clear. De Bont was uh, marshalling the groups again. Eddie Dunbar of Ireland was doing the same. But as they came in towards the finish, one kilometre to go, the leader and winner of the final stage was going to come from this select front group. Mitchelton Scott were doing everything to try and lead out for Matteo Trentin. Case Ball, Teish Benut, Jasper de Voost, all towards the front to try and lead out the sprint. Davide Chimelai was also trying to get in on the action. 
Mitchelton Scott, though, into the final metres. And Matteo Trentin had lost his lead out. Cameron Mayer was heading towards the final corner with the green jersey of Mathieu van der Poel on his wheel. His teammate Trentin was battling to try and move up onto the lead out of Case Bowl. In to the final turn and in a flat sprint, 300 metres to the line. Cameron Mayer swung off. Van der Poel looked back to see where Trentin was. Case Bowl made his move. Van der Poel, though, was locked and loaded on the wheel. And as they lined up, Van der Poel came off the wheel. It was neck and neck as the two riders clashed with inside of the line. But for the second day in a row, Matthew Van der Poel crowned his Ovo Energy leader's jersey with a final stage victory to extend his lead over Matteo Trentin. The final lead out, a tight final corner. Cameron Mayer leading out. Van der Poel on the wheel. Case bowl of somewhere in the red. The rider to go. Trentin thought about it. Would he go with bowl? He got onto the wheel of Van der Poel with Sasha Modolo in the pink and Jasper de Burst and Mike Turnison also trying to get on contention. Van der Poel was in the slipstream of Case Bowl. He made his move. And as they clashed, both riders paused momentarily, but it came down to the throw to the line with Trentin closing. But Van der Poel took the stage. Great slow-mo, the skill of the two riders, Case Bowl and Mathieu van der Poel. A little bump in excess of 60 kilometers an hour. They kept on line and threw the bikes at the line with van der Poel just taking it on the line. That was the margin on the line, the photo finish. Mathieu van der Poel, they about a quarter of a wheel. Well, the, the eighth and final stage in Greater Manchester. Mathieu van der Poel takes his third stage victory. Confirmation of your 10. Van der Poel from Case Bowl, Matteo Trentin, Turnison, Chimelai, Modolo, Ikoff, De Boost, Murata, and this your top 10. One of the riders of the week, the Skoda King of the Mountains, Jacob Scott of Swift Carbon. Rory Townsend, the winner of the Iceberg Sprints classification for Canyon DHB. Consolation of sorts for Matteo Trentin, who takes the Setterfield points jersey. And the 1 2 3, Van der Poel from Trentin and De Boost. It will be hard to look beyond Matthew van der Poel now for the upcoming World Championships in Yorkshire. There's your final top 10. Van der Poel 17 seconds ahead of Trentin. De Burst third at 50 seconds.